Sent you either, preacher. That's I don't right. care who you are. Yeah. I don't care if you do say God called and sent you to preach right. the gospel. I don't oh, yeah. care. Mm -hmm. If God called and sent you to preach the gospel, oh, yeah. then you ain't got no problem with what I'm preaching. That's right. If you got a problem with what I'm preaching, that devil sent you. That's right. That's right. None of God's apostles fought each other. No. Right. Eh? Oh, no. Right. Not one. Not one. Even though Paul came on after the Son of God died, and then that body was glorified, and he ascended above all heavens, yeah. Paul didn't have the pleasure that the other apostles have right. by walking with Jesus in the flesh, but he walked with him in the spirit. That's right. Even though he came on later, his teaching didn't differ from Peter or That's James right. or John That's right. or Matthias or Matholomew. Right. That's right. None of them. None of them. Right. Glory take God. They all have the same thing. That's that's right. Hey man, are you kidding what I'm telling you? Let the wicked forsake his way. All right, you that are wicked watching. Amen. It's time to forsake your way, three God believer. That's right. Two God believer. That's right. A big God and a little Jesus. Amen. And a third person in the Godhead. Yeah. That's a threefold lie that That's came a lie. so far out of hell. That's right. The Hello. devil done served us that lie, and I'm determined to beat it back. Amen. Yeah. The what? Let the wicked forsake his way. Forsake your way. Forsake his way. Ignore the color of your skin. Stop thinking you so much because you're white. That's right. Because you're not. That's right. right. And you stop thinking you so much because you're black. Right. Yeah. Because you're not. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. The problem with the church is they won't tell you. No. I will. Oh, yes, you will. Hmm? Oh, yes, you will. Amen. Many of you black churches feel so honored because a white man or a white woman come in there. Yeah. And you sit there. Oh. <laughs> they say, we had white folks today. Yeah. <laughs> right. I met them like that. That's right. We, we actually had some white people come to church. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's the way some of them are. That's right. Amen. And then you get some black brother or black sister come inside of a white church. Sometimes they'll be like, wow, what, what, what are they doing here? What they? That's right. <laughs> or they may grab their pocketbooks or clutch bags. <laughs> Amen. This message bring every color. Every, every color. Because the Lord said that all nations. All nations shall flow unto it. Over there God flow unto it. That's right. Here in God's church we treat all colors the same. That's right. We are honored by everybody. Brother. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We don't put no color above the other. No. I don't look at a white sister and say, she's my white sister. You just my sister. That's right. I don't look at a, a, a black brother and say, that's my black brother. You just my brother. For my house shall be called in house of prayer. Listen at what God said. In Isaiah chapter 56 and at you verse know, 7. I thunder it hard. Oh, yes. Because racism is still alive. And to my sad regret, well. Well. In a lot of so-called Pentecostal churches. That's right. I have a lot of folk that left the United Pentecostal Church. That's right. One of their biggest complaints was racism. Amen. It ain't hard to find that some of these churches are racist, especially if they got, sometimes to my sad regret, a slave driver for an overseer. Mm. You will hardly find any man or woman of color yeah. for a high position. Mm. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. They will only put white brothers and sisters in position oh, yeah. to suppress People of color. That's right. That's nothing but a church plantation. That's right. Yeah? Amen. That's a church plantation. That's right. Amen. Here I am, a runaway slave that Run away. back to your plantation. I'll burn your church down. That's right. And I'll burn it down with Bible. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I tell all the slaves, black, white, brown, yellow, red, come over here on the Lord's side. That's right. That's it. Wonderful, brother. Are oh, you listening to the old troublemaker? That's why, they, that's why they say that man is crazy. That's right. Why do he say these things? I preach what is true. True. And because I'm not getting paid, yeah. I'm not voted by a board of directors. Yeah. I don't worry about what folk think. I, anytime we preach what's written and you cringe, yeah. then obviously the word of God stuck you. That's right. You see, the Bible is called a sword. That's right. Anytime you cringe, you have felt. The poking yes, of the scripture. That's right. Eh? That's right. You've been poked, I said. Amen. I said, you've been poked. That's right. Eh? That's why some is squirming. It. That blade is piercing. <laughs> so rich it comes. That's right. Come on, son. Isaiah chapter 56 <laughs> and verse 7. <laughs> All right. For mine house. My House. Shall be called a house of prayer. This is God's church for how much? For all people. Let the black. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God the brown, the yellow, 
the right. red, the yeah. white, the tan, the cream, the, co the pecan color. That's walnut, right. Walnut, almond, if you're psychedelic. That's right. For some reason, if you're born looking like a tie-dye shirt, you come on to Mine house. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mine house. My house. Shall be called a house of prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For how much? For all people. I'm all after all the people. All people. Why do you think we're traveling like we are? That's right. God, we go among every, every color under the every sun. Color. Amen. Amen. And it's beautiful when I look at this morning, this yes. afternoon, like yes. a flower garden in here. Yeah. All these different colors Amen. representing yeah. God creation. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. My house. My house. Shall be called a house of prayer. Shall be called a house of prayer. For all people. Hallelujah. All people. I'm a fisherman. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Yeah. You oh, know yes. a fisherman, when he dropped his net, Hallelujah. fish come up all type of color. That's right. That's what I am, I'm a fisherman. Hallelujah. I'm not out trying to Hallelujah. I'm not out trying to catch no one race of fish. No, no. God told me, toss my net. Hallelujah. That's right. Take off. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My house. Toss my net. Go oh, ahead. Hey. Thank God, when I pull my net in, yes. I see Africans, I see Australians, right. I see Samoan and Fiji Islands and right. Indians and Jamaicans and right. Cambodians, right. Japanese and That's Chinese. Right. Yes, I'm just keep fishing, you keep know. Keep fishing, go ahead. But my house, my house, shall be called in the house of prayer. Go ahead, take God. Shall be called. Called in house of prayer. Hallelujah. Go ahead, take God. Hallelujah. Shall be called and house of prayer. A house of prayer for all people. Yes. Amen. That's why He got us traveling like this. Oh, yes. He made me a God told his apostles. That's right. Ye shall catch, catch yes. men. Men. Catch men. Yes. That's right. Yeah, man, he made me an apostle. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. I heard God's voice. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, thank God when he stopped me in my track, you know. Wonderful. Said I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. This purpose. To make thee a minister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He made me an apostle. Yes, he did. And then taught me how to fish. That's right. We can go in any, anywhere. Any, anywhere. Anywhere. Victory is ours before we get there. That's right. It'll take some men 20, 30, 40, and 50 years yes, to build up the congregation. Oh, yes. When yes, we go somewhere, yes, yes. we got a congregation instant like coffee. That's right. <laughs> Last night alone, 60 souls in one night. One night. Most men wouldn't baptize that if they pastored 60 years. That's true. It's the Lord's doing. That's right. That's right. Amen. It's the Lord's doing. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Go back to where we were. Let's get the foundation of it. Back in Isaiah chapter 55 and at verse 7. Solomon. Let the wicked forsake his way. All right, you wicked things out there. Amen. Time for you to break off your wicked. Break it off. You got death in front of you and God in back of you. That's right. Choose now. That's right. Choose what you want. That's right. Choose whom you're going to serve, young serve. man, right. young girl, middle age or old. That's right. Choose. Choose. God did not design life no. for you to focus on how much money to make and leave God out. No way. Money not going to get you out the grave. No. Money not going to save you. That's right. The only thing that you're going to need to get into the kingdom of God yeah. is God. That's right. Money money is, has its place in life, but yeah. money won't help you. Won't help you. You know the way these false prophets preach money, they got you thinking the more money you give, the more blessings you receive. It ain't like that at all. Uh, that's the right. The greatest offering that you can give the Lord don't come from your wallet. That's right. The greatest offering you can give the Lord is you. That's right. I want to say, well, what about prosperity, Pastor Jennings? This junk that these men preach is not prosperity, it's racketeering. That's it. True prosperity is have nothing to do with land. That's right. It has nothing to do with money. That's right. It has nothing to do with cars. That's right. True prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. Thus saith the Lord. You don't know God, you're poor. That's right. You don't know God, you're a fool. That's right. That's right. I don't care if you got a private jet. Mm -hmm. When you die, what you going to do with that jet? What you going to do with it? If you got a Rolls Royce and you got a, a sectional couch for chairs in that Rolls Royce. Amen. You only can sit in one place at a time. That's right. I don't care nothing about that mess. That's eh? right. Thus saith the Lord. Listen at this. Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23. Follow me and get this. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. I don't care nothing about you went to Bible school, cemetery school. That's right. You got your PhD. D -D. School don't make preachers. No. No, you think you're something because you got a PhD. That's why you just... Listen, brothers and sisters, that's what it means.
mean when you go to a church mm -hmm. and you see the preachers with a robe on? You ever see them and got them three stripes on the arm? Right, yeah. right. That means he's a doctor. Right. Mm -hmm. He's claiming he's a doctor, but he can't perform biblical surgery. That's yeah. right. He can't cut scripture. That's right. I care nothing about your little paper. Amen. I received letters from out of Florida from some cemetery school and now uh, offered me an honorary doctorate of divinity. Mm. And I didn't respond to them, and they kept sending it. kept mm. sending it. Wanted to, see, wanted to give me an honorary doctorate of divinity. I don't need that paper to be a preacher. <laughs> That's right. Amen. God made me a preacher. That's right. I take that doctorate of divinity and make you eat it up. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yes. Amen. Why? Because the Bible is against the wisdom of men. Wisdom of the Bible men. said, let not the wise man. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Do you hear this? Let in Do you Jer hear this? Jeremiah, Come on, son. Jeremiah 9 and verse 23. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Don't glory in your education. Nothing wrong with having education, but education without God is unprofitable. That's right. Eh? Neither let the mighty man. Don't let the mighty man glory in his might. God glory in his might. Let not the rich man. Don't let the rich That's man glory in his riches. That's why it's glory not a glory. sin to be rich. Right. The sin is when riches possess you. That's right. That's, that's right. the sin. That's the sin. Oh, man, you can own a mansion. You can own a fleet of cars. Yeah. But if that stuff possess you, yeah. you're in trouble. That's right. Because Jacob was rich. That's right. Abraham was rich. Yeah. Solomon was rich. Amen. So it's not a sin to be rich. That's right. Depending upon how you got it. Mm. That's right. He that gather riches and don't right. do it right, you die a fool. That's right. All right. Let not the rich man glory in his, wi in his but riches, what? but let him that glorieth glory in this. Glory. What shall we glory in, William? That he, un that he understandeth and knoweth me. He understand and know God. That I am the Lord. Wait a minute. Mm. This is the greatest and most important place of life. That's right. That you may understand. That he understandeth and knoweth me. And know us. Me. Oh, Amen. Wait a minute. Amen. No singular? That he understandeth and knoweth me. If you don't know God as being him, me, me one. Th that I. That we. That I. Still got to know one. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't know one, your education, you're still an educated fool. That's right. Uh -huh. That I am that the Lord. I, I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Which exerciseth loving kindness. Which exercise mercy. Judgment. Judgment. And righteousness in the and earth. right doing. For in. Right deeds in the earth. For in these things I delight. Wait a minute. Amen. I want you preachers that are listening to get this. That's right. You that's going around telling the people. God wants you to be rich right now. It is God's will that nobody be poor. Every preacher that said that blaspheme. Blasphemy. Come on, say what, Pastor Jennings? If you ever went to any church and heard any pastor, I don't care if it's your father, your grandfather, your son, your uncle, or your lying mama. That's right. That claimed to be a woman preacher. That's right. And you heard anybody say it isn't God will. Yeah. God don't want nobody to be poor. They have told an outstanding lie on the Bible. St. John chapter 12 and at verse 8. Because Jesus told us otherwise. For the poor always ye have with you. You better give chapter and verse again and book. St. John chapter 12 and we're at verse 8. Jesus said what? For the poor always ye have with you. If he said you're going to have the poor with you always, they're going to be here until the Lord come. That's right. That's always. 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 That's right. And if the Lord said always, always is always. That's right. <laughs> For the poor always. Always. Ye have with you. It's going to be poor folk always. Always. That's right. Any preacher come along and say, God don't want nobody to be poor. That's his personal hype. That's right. It's nothing but a hype talk. That's let's right. come on back to Bible. For the poor. Yeah, let's come on back to Bible. That's it. Let everybody, glory be to God of Abraham, come on back to Bible. That's right. And do what the word of God say. Do. That, that's right. You can't do it the way God said it. You stay out of church. Stay out of church. Just stay out of church. Out. Don't right. even rub up against the church. And if you do, don't even look back and see what you rub up against. That's right. You got to come back and do it the way the word of God said or stay home and go to hell from home. Back in Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 7. Get this. Let the wicked forsake his way. It's time to break off your wickedness, Seattle, Washington. That's, that's uh -huh. right. And the unrighteous man. And, and, and the unrighteous, the sinner man. His thoughts. Wait a minute. The sinner man got to get rid of what? And let the, unri and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Now you got to stop thinking the way you think, sinner man. That's right. That's right. The sinner man hear me break up fornication. He say, look, man, look. that stuff is too good for me to stop. Amen. Amen. Send a man tell me, hear me, bring Bible, cleanse yourself from all filthiness of the flesh. flesh. Send a man say, come on, Pastor Dennis. God, look, look, I don't, I don't want, I'm, I'm not into that. <laughs> I, I'm not into that. You? Who you. are you? That's right. 
That's right. Man, let me tell you what you are. Mm -hmm. How many here ever seen a bubble form on water then pop? Yeah. Raise your hand. Amen. Do you know what make that bubble form on water? Yeah. Just air. That's it. Man, you are equal to that little bubble on water. That's right. When the air leaves, the bubble disappears. That's right. The breath that is in your body is what got you functioning. That's it. And when God snatched that breath, just like the bubble pop, yeah. you will pop. Oh, yeah. You will no longer exist. That's right. Man, you think it's something because you got your house paid off. You still don't own it. Right. 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 That's right. Because now you got a great bill to pay. Oh, yeah. God is calling for your life. That's right. Out here thinking something because you got about 13 kids mm. by 15 different women. Amen. You think it's something, you think you're God gifted women because you's a male hoe. That's right. And all nations before him. You think it's something because the men cater to you, sister, like flies laying on dung. That's right. You better stay in mind the breath is just in your own nostrils. Soon God is going to snatch your breath and your body going to be left in bed, left in the bathroom, left in the tub, drop on the floor of the right. kitchen, lay there next to some man that ain't your husband, That's right. fall at your laptop, go ahead, man. get in your car, go ahead, wherever. go ahead, over take God wherever you're at, wherever you're at, he gonna snatch that breath, Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17, that's what, all nations before him, all nations, all nations before him, before God, are as nothing, you're nothing, and they are counted to him, and they're counted to God, less than nothing. You're less than nothing, brother. That's right. Sister. That's right. Brother, what is it that make you want to go out there and join a gang and carjack somebody? Yeah. What is it? Why do you feel like a man? <clears throat> Why it take you to pack a 38 mm -hmm. or 45? That's right. To make you feel like a man. Right. What is it that make you want to put a red cloth in your head or a blue cloth? That's right. That, uh, uh, that make you be a member of some gang that make you feel like a man? That's right. What is it that make you want to wear your pants down to advertise your booty like you's a male prostitute that make you feel like a man? That's right. That's right. It ain't a man that's a real man advertise his butt. No. No. Not a real man. You a real man? Amen. Or are you gay? Mm. Or are you a sissy? Right. Because a real man don't advertise his behind. That's right. Unless you're making a neighborhood booty call. That's right. Am I right? Amen. 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 Something wrong with that picture. Something wrong with that. You from the hood. Yeah. Strolling. Yeah. Showing your booty. That's right. That don't go together. That don't go together. You hard. That's right. You strolling. Yeah. With your hair in two plaits yeah. and bangs. Right. That's right. Or you got a man bun That's like right. a girl. That's right. Wearing your mama bobby pin. Go ahead. With your pants hanging down. That's right. Showing your booty. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. You mixed up. Yeah. See, when I came from the hood, <laughs> we wore hot top shoes called left hooks. Yeah. <laughs> Stacy Adams. Yeah. We may have our bottom pants leg of our khakis rolled up. Mm -hmm. May throw on a jacket and a cap. Yeah. You know? Right. And uh, our pants was buckled. Yeah. <laughs> there were right. there wasn't fake hoodlums. Right. They was real hoodlums. Real hoodlums. You know, they walk. Yeah. Stroke. Yes, sir. That's how you, that's real hoodlums. When you got your pants hanging down, yeah. there's a switch in one of your cheeks. You can't even stroll right. That's right. You try to stroll. That's right. That's right. There's a dip in your split. That's right. That's right. A man may be known by his look. A man may be known, may be known by his look. So what are you? What a are you? faggot or what? That's right. That's right. That's right. If a girl is seen walking the street advertising her behind there, call her a hoe. Yes, they would. Now, what you think you look like? That's right. You That's think true. you like a man? My Lord. You look like a male whore. That's right. A long hair, but advertising male whore. That's right. Am I right, I said? Yeah. 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 And you wonder why gay men looking at you walk by you. How you doing? That's right. 
right. and you want to fight them. That's right. right. You want to fight them and show them your behind. Yeah. My Lord. Make up your mind. That's right. Either you're a man or a woman. Right. Yeah. Choose ye. Choose ye. This day. That's right. How you're going to serve. That's right. That's right. All right, listen to the old man. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 19. Verses 29 and 30. Follow me. A man may be known by his look. A man hmm. may be known by his look. By his appearance. Right. And one that hath understanding. One that hath understanding. By his countenance. By his countenance. When thou meetest him. When you meet him. A man's attire. A man's clothing. And excessive clothing, laughter. And excessive laughter. And gait. And gait. Show what he is. Show wow. what he is. He is. What he is. Here you are walking the streets, pants hanging down, laughing. A bunch of booty that's, boys. That's right. On the corner. That's right. All of y'all showing y'all behind. That's right. The booty boys. The booty boys. That's what you are. That's right. Your daddy, your son, Go ahead. your brother, your uncle, yeah. your pastor, your deacon, your choir member. That's right. Bunch of booty boys. Booty boys. <laughs> Amen. The booty boy church. The booty, that's right. Booty boy, deacon boy. That's right. And you want to be respected as a man. Amen. Who in a right mind going to take you serious? Yeah. Advertising your butt. That's right. You think you're a man? My Lord. You ain't no man. No. He's a booty boy. That's right. Remember that. That's right. Write that down. Take write, it home with write you. Write it down. <laughs> Booty boy. That's right. That goes for anybody here. That's right. You wear your pants like that, you's a booty boy. That's a booty boy. If you're old man, you's a booty grandpa. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Uh, a man may be known by his look. The Bible speaks plain here. In Ecclesiastes 19 Anyone and verse 29 know and 30. That this is the truth. If a girl was outside like that, they'd call her a whore. They'd call her a prostitute quick. Yes, they would. She won't get no honor. That's right. No respect. Yeah. She'd get picked up. Done what's done, That's toss right. her back in the street. That's true. How do you think you look, fella? That's right. That's right. Let's, let's, let's make it an even playing field. That's right. What makes you think you look like a man yeah. with your behind showing and she just look like a whore? That's right. Right. Amen. You look like a male whore. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Satan had designed clothing and style. Go ahead, brother. Take away the masculinity from the man. That's right. And you fell for it. That's right. Good teaching, brother. Now you want to wear ponytail. Right. Now you want to wear skin tight jeans. That's right. Now you want to wear your pants hanging down. Yeah. Now you want to wear a tank top. That's right. Now you want to arch your eyebrows. Yeah. You oh, want yes. to have your nails shining. Yeah. Like a handful of reflectors. That's right. That's right. God said he made man. That's right. Man, I'm glad God made me a man. God made me a man. Oh, yes. Nothing gay about me. No, no. Not at all. Not at all. That's right. That's right. Are right, you listening to what I'm telling you? A man may be known by his look. That's why these men won't preach this. No. Because they got the choir full of flowers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Wall to wall flowers wall. just singing. That's He's right. mine, mine, mine. <laughs> she, my head just bobbing like a boggle head. That's right. Go ahead, man. Gay men run revival in Pentecostal churches. Yeah. So called apostolic churches now waving rainbow flags. That's right. And these old lazy poor pit bums because of their love for money. Yeah. Will say nothing. That's right. The churches have become a doghouse. Oh, yes. It's no longer a house of prayer for all, all people. people. It's a doghouse. That's right. That's right. And let me show you how God people feel about it. Mm. Jeremiah, yeah. I believe chapter 4 chapter and verse four, 30, verse if 30. I'm correct. That's right. Let me see how spoiled, how used to the trash people have gotten. That's right. Amen. Follow me in your Bible Je and see if that's what I want. Jeremiah chapter 4 and at verse 30. All right, son. And when thou art spoiled, uh -oh. what wilt thou do? When you what? When thou art spoiled, spoiled, what wilt thou do? You know, that's the problem with the people. Yeah. They spoil. Oh, yes. I mean, it's like having a parent that raised a child and let the child do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. hey, Amen. don't believe, you know, today they tell you don't beat the child. That ain't what God said. No. God said beat it. Beat the child. Yeah. That's right. Hey, Amen. when I came up, we wasn't allowed to put our shoes on or 
run across the couch with shoes on and go in the refrigerator with dirty hands, interrupt our elders when they talk. That's right. Hit back at our parents, not that. No. Oh, uh, we back talk your mama, back talk your father. That's right. We wasn't allowed to do that. That's right. We saw kids back talk, back talking their parents. But when I came up, the parents didn't say that was cute. No, no, no the, the, the mama took your picture <laughs> with her hand. That's right. All you saw was a flash. Amen. <laughs> That's all you saw. And it's, it's amazing how she hits you without even looking at you. That's right. And she's just still walking. Bye. She saw a flash. Instant. You got developed. Developed. <laughs> you got developed. That's it right. was a Kodak moment. That's yeah. right. Glory to God. Withhold not correction from the child. Do you hear this? In Proverbs chapter 23 and verse oh, 13. Oh, we're living in a wicked time, a wicked time. Everything has changed. Oh, yes. And it has changed for the worse. That's right. That's why the word of God says evil men and seducers shall wax worse. And worse, deceiving and being deceived. The churches don't put quiet and hush hush about sin That's true. because all they want is the crowd so the preacher don't have to work and get all the money. So, what you have wall to wall motivational speakers, you don't have wall to wall preachers. That's right. That's right. You just got motivational. All these men in mega churches, they one of them is a preacher. No. Here, 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 here now. No, no. I said not one. Not one. It ain't a mega preacher out here. That's right. They ain't nothing but motivational pimps. That's all. Tell you stuff that make you feel good in your sin. That's right. You're comfortable. You're relaxing in your sin. That's right. Spoil, Spoil. Read the Bible. God sent men as warners. Oh, yes. God ain't never sent a man to pat you on the back about your wrong. No. God come along and send a man and give him the word and put him in his mouth to put fear in you, make you run. Go ahead. Run! That's right. Because the judgment of God was coming. That's right. And the judgment of God is not only coming upon America, but it's coming upon the whole world. That's right. And he sent me, glory to God, ahead of his judgment to tell you to run. That's right. Run out from your sin and run to God. That's right. Are you getting right? Hallelujah. Glory to God. What is that? Back in Jeremiah 4 and verse 30. Come on, son. And when thou art spoiled. When you are spoiled. What wilt thou do? When you are ruined. You know, when you spoil a person, you ruin them. Oh, yes. They're all rotten because they want to have their way. Yes. Yes. Amen. Child can't have their way. Hit back at mommy and start crying and walling it all on the floor. Man, when I came up, my mother and father said no. Yeah. We couldn't fall on no floor and wall. No. No, oh. if we dreamed of doing it, <laughs> they came in a dream and beat you. That's right. <laughs> you had a dream you was getting a beating at the same time. Amen. You go in the supermarket. Mother be telling the son, Billy, stop. He said, no. That's true. Billy, I said, stop. He hit a pop. No. That's right. Billy, you're, you're bad. You're bad. And he tell her, I don't care. Shut up. That's true. That's Man, true. if that was us. You'll find us in the shopping cart. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You'll think it's a shopping cart full of groceries. No, we in there. That's right. Looking. Yeah? That's right. Go oh, and take God. Did you hear this? And when thou art spoiled, when you are spoiled. What wilt thou do? What would you do? Though right? thou, thou closest thyself with crimson, with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, what else? Though thou rinnest thy face with pain, what profit is it with? In vain, in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. You fed. look good in vain. Thy lo lovers will despise you. They will seek thy life. All right, let's go to work. Let's give this now. Come Back on. in Isaiah 55 and verse 7. All right. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked leave off his wicked ways. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And the unrighteous man, you better lay aside the way you think. Think. You may as well stop thinking Amen. that right. what you're doing is right. What you're doing is wrong. You are an embarrassment to God. That's right. I want to say to every man under the sun, do you know that we were made for God's glory? For God's glory. And God made man in his image and his likeness. Yeah. That's not just narrowed down to the man's shape no. or the man form or the main fashion. No. Because you can have the form of God, but still not made in God's image. That's right. When you're made in God's image, it's bigger than your shape. Yeah. You got to have the characteristics of God. Yeah. You got to have God's character to yeah. go along with the shape. That's right. You can have the shape but don't have the character so therefore you're out of character but yet you hold the image that's right and you defile the image when your character don't meet up to God's character that's right eh? let the wicked forsake his way let the wicked forsake his way lay down your cigarette lay down your gambling lay down your lottery player that's right brothers gotta cut your hair cause the bible says it's a shame for a man to have long hair that's right you got to lay aside your rouge on your face you gotta get rid of your lipstick cause I'm trying to make him look so pink yeah. <laughs> that's right eh? that's the right man got to lay aside his eye shadow got to pull your pants up. That's it. Just face the fact you're not a woman. That, that's well, it. Pastor Jenner, I'm confused. I'm confused. Right. Oh. 
Oh. It's so dramatic. <laughs> it's so dramatic. That's right. You'll think a director in front of him that says, action. <laughs> oh, that's right. I don't know what I want right. to be. You don't know what Woe I want to be. Woe is me. That's right. Woe is me. That's right. that's right. You don't know what you are. I'll tell you what, what you, you do. Go in your bathroom, stand in front of the mirror, buck naked. Buck naked. And get to look down. Then you say, I'm a man. That's right. I'm a man, I say. That's right. <laughs> You look at your naked behind, you get revelation. That's right. Y'all know what you are. That's right. Am I right? Let the wicked. You know, I'ma make it. I'ma make it so plain. You can't be dumb and use that as an excuse. That's right. You don't know what you are. Just stand in front of the mirror naked. In front of the mirror. If you can't get it by the first five minutes, just keep walking back and forth. Look. <laughs> you will understand. Oh, we take God. Come on, William. Let the wicked forsake his way. <laughs> oh, this is a good gospel. Yes, it is. What is that, son? Let the wicked forsake his way. You long hair, oh, no. plat wearing men, yeah. ponytail wearing men. Yeah. When I'm talking to a man, I expect if I'm talking to a woman, you know, she may do like this while yeah. she's talking. Yeah. Not a man. Not a man. Every time I'm talking, you shaking your head like you got Tourette's. <laughs> That's right. Shaking your head. That's right. Mm. Well, Pastor Jennings, you know, I enjoy what you, I enjoy what you preach. Mm. Mm. <laughs> What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? God made man. That's right. Do it not even nature itself teach yeah, 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 yeah. Give chapter and verse for this. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 14. I see the Bible. Don't you hear the Bible say, forsake your thoughts, brother? That's right. Forsake your thoughts. Forsake when your you thoughts. you forsake your thoughts, you don't follow what the world do. That's right. You just say, do not after their works. That's right. That means don't do like they do. Amen. Now listen to what the Bible says. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 14. I want all my long-haired men that are watching and listening. Amen. Get this. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 14. Says what? Doeth not even nature itself do teach of, you? Doeth not nature teach you? That if a man, if a man have long hair, have long hair, it is a shame unto him. Right. Shame. No, it's cool. It is a shame unto him. It's a style. It is a shame unto him. It's cute. It is a shame unto him. His old dirty girlfriend like to play in his old nappy hair. It is a shame, shame. unto him. Shame. Shame. It's a shame, Pastor. Amen. Amen. If, if it's a shame in God eyes, yeah. why you ain't embarrassed? That's right. That's right. Why are you not embarrassed? You know why? You don't know better. Don't know better. But brother, you let God come. You let the Lord come and take you with all that long hair like a woman. My Lord. After you hear this message, you're going to go to hell. That's right. You mean to tell me I go to hell for having long hair, Pastor Jennings? If God's safe for you not to do something right. and you do it you for do it. you. Amen. Imagine if I came in here to Seattle, Washington with my hair hanging down. Yeah. Both of us, Pastor. Me and Will. Both of us. <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> imagine that? Imagine that. Brother, introduce me, and folks don't notice when I walk in. I'm sitting back here. That's right. When I get up, we bear witness. That's right. There's no God but one. That's right. There's no God with them. Amen. No God beside them. That's, huh? That's right. Williams, what the Bible says. That's right. <laughs> you understand? Hey, That's shake right. my hand. Read the Bible. What does it say? That's right. That's right, brother. Are you listening? Amen. Don't you see what society is trying to do to our men? Oh, yeah. Society wants to take away your manhood. That's it. And when society That's strip it, man. you of your manhood, there's nothing out there for a woman to respect. That's right. Go ahead, man. And when you got that mentality, you teach your children that there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. So now generation after generation right. of boys coming up right. never be full men. That's right. Because you rob them right. of their manhood. Amen. Through ignorant teaching. That's right. You got them looking like a woman. You dress the son up. Look at the way the young people are today. Yeah. Talk about giving your children the right to decide mm. whether they want to be a boy or That's a right. girl. What a fool. What a fool. What a fool. God made that decision. That's right. So you got the parents say, well, That's right. we don't want to call them him or her. Or her. We we'll call our children they. They. Or them. Mm. They or them. They or them. One person come in the house. They, you want to eat? <laughs> That's right. They, I'm fixing dinner. They, you want dinner? They. Yes, mom. Mm. Yes. Yeah. That's right. That's so right. him, go ask his sister. Can I borrow a pair of your underwear? I haven't been to the laundry yet. Mm. And his sister's comfortable. Here. That's right. That's something. Man. Here he's. That's something. A hundred. And 65 pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make this so plain. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> and she gave him mm -hmm. a pair of her underwear. Yeah. <laughs> And asked her brother, My Lord. will these do? <laughs> oh, yeah. They had nice red. They had nice red. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. And he, he got to use butter, Vaseline, and margarine right. just to slide in them. That's right. And here's your hell-deserving parents. Yeah. Don't see nothing wrong with that perversion. Amen. And these weak, sissy fighting churches. Yeah. Along with the government of America itself. Right. Yeah. Don't see nothing wrong with it. Don't see nothing wrong with it. And you know what they say about Pastor Jennings? He don't preach with love. Yeah. You know why? I'm like the grandpapa. That's right. You know when that young child got inexperienced parents and inexperienced parents let the child run all around and tear up everything. Yeah. No discipline. Yeah. But then when that child go to grandma and grandpa house. Oh, yeah. Grandma say, honey, right, you go in that refrigerator and wash your hands. That's right. Get your feet off that couch. That's right. Sit down. Yeah. Take your fingers out your mouth. Yeah. Wash your hands. Yeah. Take your bath. Yeah. And ain't used to that discipline. I used to So it. right away, that child gonna say, I wanna go home. <laughs> That's right. I want my mommy. Yeah. You know what? What he's really saying, I want freedom. That's right. Go ahead and take God. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. I want freedom. That's right. Let freedom ring. Amen. I want to do what I want to do. Yeah. And that's exactly the way the churches have done. The churches have spoiled the choir, have oh, spoiled yes. the preachers, have spoiled the pulpit. That's why any old type of preacher come into church yeah. and preach any old lying message and the preacher don't check behind what the man believe. The man would lie to the people, just excite the people. Yeah. Got the people running all around the church, slapping hands on them, pushing them down. That's right. Nobody not interested in what's coming out that man's mouth. That's right. 